Hi guys, it's Riley, and today we're gonna to talk about building your own LED panel. For this build, we're gonna be using some LED strip, some wire, an XLR connector, some screws and bolts, a flange, a piece of 8020, and this piece of milled aluminum, which will be your panel. In order to build this, you're gonna need a Phillips 3 screwdriver, some wire strippers, I'm using these vice grips, soldering iron and some solder, and lastly, a pair of scissors. So the first thing we're gonna do when building this panel is mount this piece of 8020 to this piece of aluminum. It's going to mount something like this. It'll be the back for the panel, and the flange will go on it like that. So the piece of 8020 has some threaded holes on the back of it that you can secure to the screw like that. Now that they're all loosely in place, I'm gonna go ahead and cinch them all down. Cool. So the next thing you're gonna do is take your LED strip and lay it flat along the panel. You're gonna to wanna to find exactly the right length. You'll notice you can cut the strips only on these little marks. Um, now that you have your strip length figured out, we're gonna go ahead and cut it using a pair of scissors. When you're done, you should have a length of strip that looks something like this. So now that we have one cut to length, we're gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the LED strip. Um, and one roll of LED strip should be the perfect amount to cover an entire panel. So now that you have all of your strips cut, you can go ahead and start laying them out on the panel. They have an adhesive backing to them so you can go ahead and peel that adhesive backing on the center strip, which is gonna be the one that already has wires on it. So now that you have the backing off the center strip, you can go ahead and lay it down perfectly center, as good as you can eye it on the panel. Cool, so there's a very similar space on the top and the bottom of the strip, and it's as center as I think I can get it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start laying these other strips down side by side. But there's one thing to note, and that's the orientation. So you'll see here that negative is on the left and positive is on the right. On your strip, it might be flipped, I'm not sure. Depending on what strip you use, it could be different. But you need to mimic that orientation all the way throughout. So it says 24 volts on the right side of the strip, we're going to keep that 24 volts on the right side of every strip to keep the orientation the same. So I'm going to go ahead and peel the backing of the next strip and lay it down right next to it in the same exact orientation. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process for all of the strips now. Cool, so when you're done, it should look something like this. So go ahead and check one more time, make sure all the strips are in the same exact orientation, because you'll see in the next step, when we start soldering them together, it'll look much cleaner if they're all oriented the same way. So now that we have all of our LED strips lined up, we're gonna start soldering them together. Now we're gonna wanna connect them all in parallel so they all get the same exact voltage. That means connecting negative to negative on all the strips and positive to positive. So I'm gonna use this light silicon wire to do that. So I'm gonna use my vice grips to strip the wire. You'll notice I didn't expose a whole lot of wire, just enough to cover one of these solder pads on the LED strip. I'm gonna twist it a little bit, just so the solder has something to grab. And now that my soldering iron is heated up, I'm going to tin the wire. Now that that's tinned, I'm gonna go ahead and tin one of the pads here. I'm gonna choose this second row. I'm gonna use this second row, all of the positives on it, as my row to connect all the positives. So now that I've got my wire tinned, I'm gonna go ahead and tin the strip.
cool. Now I can go ahead and solder the positive wire right there. Sweet. Now what I'm gonna do is take my vice grips, get them as close as possible, and strip the wire again. Now I can solder the next positive. I'm gonna bend the wire and go a few strips down. I'm gonna tin that wire as well. Now I'm gonna solder. Cool, so now this row is connected to this row on the positive side. I'm gonna go ahead and keep repeating that process all the way along the row. So when you're done, it should look something like this. Now that we're done with positive, we're gonna move on to doing negative. So we're gonna repeat the process, and this time I'm gonna do it at the bottom of the panel. So I've already stripped this wire. I'm gonna go ahead and tin it and tin the pad here on the negative side and repeat that process. So when you're done with that, the panel should look something like this. So the next step is going to be soldering on our XLR connector. You're going to want to take your XLR and unscrew the wire shield. There's a little piece inside of it. You take that out and put it to the side, and then you can push from the front the whole connector out of its casing. You'll notice that the back of the connector has three pins, and they're all labeled one, two, and three. We're going to be using pins one and pin two. Negative, or the black wire, is going to be pin one, and positive is going to be pin two. So now what I'm gonna do is take the connector and grab it in a clamp, just like that, with the little solder cups facing up. So now I can tin pins one and two. Now that I have those tinned, I'm gonna go ahead and take this shielding and slide it along the wire from the LEDs. So insert the wires into the shielding, Slide this all the way down to the end, where it's going to sit for a minute. So now, these wires are actually nice and pre-tinned. I'm going to cut them a little bit shorter, just short enough that they sit flush on these solder pads. I'm going to twist the wires so the solder has something to receive a little better, and then I'm going to tin them. Now I can go ahead, find which pin is one, which one's two, solder negative to pin one and positive to pin two. When you're done, the connector should look something like this. Now you can go ahead, slide this casing back on, Kind of spin it around to find the right orientation. It'll only slide in in the correct orientation. Then you can take your little piece of plastic that we took off earlier and wrap that around the cable. Now you can slide the connector together and screw it back together. When you're done, the connector should look something like that. The next thing we're going to do is add our flange to the back of the panel. So I'm going to grab the flange, and I'm going to take the two remaining screws, put them in opposite from each other, like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and hold them down and put these slot nuts on them. I'm going to screw them down very, very loosely, just so they're barely on there. Now we can go ahead, turn the panel over, and slide the flange into the slots on the slot nuts. 
cool. Let's screw that down. And now you have a way to grab the panel. Now that we're done with our LED panel build, let's go ahead and plug it into a power supply. So I've got this power supply here, I've got the panel here. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Sweet! We've finished up our LED panel. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys are inspired to build your own panels and do this at home. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the comments.